today we're going to test in the water the correct way of using leashes in moving water like here in this river i might not be the best role model when it comes to safety i use ordinary leashes in moving water maybe today it's time to level up the first test is a ordinary leash uh, connected to my ankle, Erika is going to tow me and will I be able to release myself like this? Time to level up with this quick waist belt from Red Paddle. Will it be easy like this to do in the water when Erika is towing me? And if you want to level up the safety even more, you can use this quick release leash from palm equipment if you fail to do like this with your um, belt you have a second safety with this one but it's <laughs> will this even work <laughs> you can put this to minus to plus and we have it on the just one step here so it should be easy but it's ah. Okay, I think we can stop. <laughs> Didn't work on one, we put it on half. Need to adjust this the next time also. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, last try. Uh, a half was too little, so now it's 0 0.75. Okay, now we know that this will release with tension, but will it not release if I just swim back to my board if I fall in? Ordinary leashes like this, it was easy to release for me. Now it's 10 degrees in the water. But when you get freezing hand in 10 degrees, how it will it be when it's zero or just four plus degrees? The quick release belt from Red Paddle was really awesome. This quick release leash from Palm Equipment was not so easy to set up, but it could be a good backup. Thanks for watching, don't forget to give this video a like and please subscribe. Padla lugnt!